Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Veteran Mountain Man on another Prepared Monday and I want to talk to you today about your car kit. Uh, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, you'll know that I keep an emergency kit in my car. And mine's not fully stocked up right now, but I'm going to make some recommendations. And some of these are things that I'm improving on my own kit and some of these things are just things I already do. So... First things first, you should always make sure your spare is usable. I know a lot of people right now are carrying around empty hubs or deflated spare tires because they haven't bothered to get their spare fixed or their spare replaced. A, a deflated tire that doesn't hold air or an empty hub is not a good thing to be carrying around in a car. You should have a functioning spare tire, even if it's just a toy tire. You need a functioning spare. Now, you should also have a jack and a wrench to actually install said spare. That's the minimum you should have in your car. I mean, if you don't have that, you shouldn't be taking your vehicle out on the expressway. You shouldn't be on the interstates. You shouldn't be on highways. Shoot, you really shouldn't be moving very far from your home because a punctured tire is something that you should seriously consider could happen. People all over the U.S. puncture tires every day. Every day. They are one of the biggest automotive issues that occur on a regular basis. The second is running out of gas. Now, for those of you who want a more advanced kit, I'm going to recommend the following upgrades. I'm going to recommend jumper cables, a small socket set or box wrench set, an empty gas can, two Mylar solar blankets, a small medical kit, and some dehydrated or dried food. That's right. Now, when I talk about some food, I'm not talking about a whole lot. I'm talking about maybe one or two servings, possibly up to four if you've got a family or however many members are in your family. Just basically enough to get you through one sitting or one meal. In the event that you're in some sort of emergency, you should have that in your car. And the reason being is, let's say you get snowed in on the I-95 in Georgia. Well, you might need to sit down and open up that emergency store and eat what's there. And you need to check it every month to make sure it's safe and within expiration terms. And uh, if it's getting close to expiring, go ahead and use it and replace it. Same with the Mylar blankets. If you have an emergency, especially like, say, getting snowed in or getting caught in the middle of summer, those Mylar blankets make great heating insulator blankets as well as great solar deflection blankets. And they will actually help keep you temperature regulated. Uh, they will also help keep you protected in the event of rain because they can act as an improvised poncho. So, one other thing I would like to recommend is to get either a road flare or a road distress signal sign and keep that in your trunk with your spare tire as well. So, in the event that you are in distress or you're having to fix a flat tire, you can put the sign out Go ahead and do what you need to do and then pick the sign back up before you start driving or leave the sign there until help arrives. It will also make it easier for help to realize that you're coming up. You'll want to put it about 100 yards back from your car and make sure it's bright and visible but not so obnoxious that it's going to harm or distract drivers. Well, thank you all again for joining me on this Prepared Monday. Please remember, if you're on YouTube, to like and subscribe. If you're on VidMe, please upvote and follow. And as always, have yourself a wonderful day.